Hey dude squad, welcome back to episode of Is It Worth It? So today's episode, we got this cool event here. And pretty much what this is, is a brushless drill. So if you guys think about it, in a way it works as like a power drill as well. And then see for the one that we got right here is from this brand. And the power that's on here, they mentioned is 12V. And when you guys look at the side, they show you guys what's included for each different head when you guys do use it. So this is what the package looks like when you guys do get in. Let me actually open up to show you guys what the inside looks like. So let's do slide it out. Once you guys slide it out, inside we do have a box and they do show you the image of what the product looks like. But let's do open it. Once you guys open it, here's what the inside looks like. So it says make it happen. But let's do take out the cover. Right here they do probably guys a user manual to teach you guys how to set it up and how to use it. And then underneath that we do have the actual product and all the different accessories as well. So let's take all of it out. So right here we do have all the different heads that's included. So you can use it as a screwdriver or any of these other heads, which is pretty cool. There's actually a lot of different options available, if you can see. Next thing right here, we do have the different drills that's in use. If you guys need to drill a hole in the wall. So for each one of these, they are pretty sharp. So you do want to handle with care and try not to hurt yourself when you guys do use it. Same thing for any other ones as well, if you can see. So you do want to be careful. And they have it available in different size, depending on how big the hole you want on the wall. Whether it's one small, medium, large, or extra large, and etc. And when you guys do feel the materials on here, it is a high quality material if it's in here. The next thing inside right here, they do provide guys a USB to USB-C cable that you can use to charge product. And then here we do have the actual product. And if you can see the way how to design it, it definitely looks and feels like a high quality material. It's easily one of the best like power drill or brush drill that I ever own. So I do pull this part out. Right there, we do have the brand name on the side right here. And also on the other side, I'm assuming that's the air vent option to prevent it from overheating when you guys do use it. I'm assuming that's the button for you guys to push to go forward or reverse. So let's do push it. That is reverse. If you guys push it on the other side, that is forward. If you guys just push it a little bit, not all the way, that basically keeps it in the middle and that way it will not work when you guys do use it. Top right here, we do have the power adjustment option. So right now we do have the option available for the screwing option, which is for any of these. But if you guys push it forward, now you can use it for any of the drill options, which are these. So really cool how she has the option available for you. Fan part right here is where you can put on each different head. And the way how to design it, it allows you guys to lock it or unlock it, which is pretty cool. So for example, if I do want to set up one of the screws, you guys want to put it inside. Once you guys put it inside, you guys want to lock it. Once you guys lock it inside, if you guys try to pull it out, it won't come out until you guys unlock it. Then you can take it out again. So really cool how she has the option available. On the bottom right here is a power button for you guys to push when you guys are ready to use it. On the bottom of the product is where you can plug in cable to recharge it. You can see how it does have a USB-C option. So having that USB-C option is actually really convenient. So that way you use anything to recharge it, not just like a wall charger. If you guys want to use a power bank to recharge it, you do have the option available. And right here is what the back part looks like. So first thing I want to do is take out this tab or this sticker. Once you guys remove it, that is what it looks like in the back. So we do have a power button for you guys to turn it on and turn it off. And there's plus and minus for you guys to increase or lower it. And then right here in the middle, that is the display screen. So the first time getting the product, you do want to plug in cable to charge it first before you can start using it because the battery is dead on here. You can see. And when you guys do feel the overall weight of the product, it actually feels pretty lightweight. It does feel a little bit more lighter than my power drill that I do have, which is pretty nice. And also when you guys feel material on here, it actually feels really smooth. So it's really cool how she feels really smooth. And when you guys do grip it, it actually feels pretty nice as well. And in terms of battery capacity that's on here, it is 2000 mAh, which is enough power for you guys to last a long time when you guys do use it, but eventually you still have to charge it up. So that is everything that's on the product. Now let's plug in cable to show you guys how to charge it. So let's plug in the bottom. Once you guys do plug it in, if you see on top right here, it show you guys the battery percentage. So right now it looks like it's halfway charged. So there is some battery in here. If you guys try to turn it on, it won't turn on when you guys do have it plugged in. Let's try to unplug it and see what happens. So actually right here is not the power button, that is the mode button. I thought that was the power button. The way how you guys turn it on is by pushing this part right here to turn it on. So let's do push it. If you guys do pull the bottom part. If you see it does work, and it's really powerful when you guys do use it, if it's in here. And then right here on the screen, it does show you guys the actual power on here when you guys do use it. So as I increase or lower, press the two button. So that is the lowest. And that is the highest. 
if you are going to change the different mode, you can press on this button. So right now we do have post mode. And this is manual mode. So if you guys do use on 30. If you guys can hear 30 is actually really powerful. But if it's been all the way down. Here is one. If I can hear and see the difference on here when you guys use it. Level one is the lowest beat level and level 30 is the highest beat level. So I'm actually doing it one more time. Here is level one. If I bring it up, all the way to 30. This will be 30. If I can see and hear the difference, if you guys use the post mode, That is what it sounds like for post mode compared to when you guys use the manual mode that's continuous. So I can see and hear the part is actually really powerful when you guys do use it. And one little technique or secret that I want to show you guys is for this part right here. If you guys don't want to turn it, if you guys think it's too long for you guys to turn this part right here to unlock it or lock it, there's another way for you guys to do it faster. So right now it's locked. If I want to lock it, I want to push on this button all the way. And what you guys want to do is hold this part right here but not too tight because you don't want to hurt your hand. And you guys want to press the button slowly to actually unlock it. So just like this. And that will help you guys unlock it really easily. Or if you guys go the other way, do the same thing. And that will lock it for you. So that is another way for you guys to do it if you guys don't want to do it manually. But that is everything that's on the product. Let me actually put this down on the table and do a quick test to show you guys how well it works. And then we'll come back and talk more about it in a second. So right here we do have something we can screw. So we do test it out. Let's try to unscrew it. If you can see how it does work. Let's try the bottom as well. All right. If you guys screw it back in. Same thing for top one. So you can see it does work when you guys do use it. It actually works really well. It gives you guys enough control on here when you guys do use it. And it is really powerful. So whether if you guys use the screw option or the power drill option to drill holes onto the wall, that is totally up to you guys. But you can see it does work. So whenever you guys are done using it, you guys will make sure to actually put it back in the middle. Which is right there. So that way it's off. Because if you guys keep it on like this, it will stay on. But if you guys push it in the middle, it won't work. So that is a lock option. Welcome back guys. So let's a quick test the product and definitely actually does work and it works quite well. So when I compare this to my other power drill that I do have, this one definitely feels a lot more high quality than the other one that I do have. And it actually has a lot more control on here when you guys do use it. And also when you guys use it, it's much more quiet than the other one that I do have. The other power drill that I do have, it makes a lot more noise. Whereas for this one, it's definitely a lot more quiet, which is really awesome. And I also love the way how to give you guys all the different tools. That's very easy for you guys to keep it organized. Only thing that I do wish is the fact that if they give you guys a case to store everything together, that would be nice. Because I don't think I want to carry this box everywhere when I do need it. So they provided a case for the product, that would be nice. But everything about the product when we do use it, if you can see it does work and it's very efficient when you guys do use it. One thing to remember about this product is the fact that they mentioned when you guys use it, you guys can use it for small stuff for like drilling holes in the wall or even just screwing stuff on or unscrewing it. But in terms of very heavy duty work for construction something, it may not be ideal based on what they mentioned. This product is meant for like small tasks and small stuff that doesn't require like heavy duty work when you guys do use it. So that is something to remember when you guys do get it. So that is everything that's on the product. Now to come boxing and testing product. Now to answer the question of whether or not it's worth it or not. So for this product, I do have to say that it's pretty worth it. If you guys want to need one of these, especially if you guys are in the market looking for a high quality power drill or cordless drill that give you guys a similar design and the same benefit and specs that's on here, then I do have to say that it's pretty worth it. But then obviously for those of you guys who don't want or don't need one or have one of these, that obviously don't buy one and save your money on something else that you do need. So that's basically everything for this video itself. If you guys like this video, make sure to smash that like button in the bottom. That will definitely help this video out. And it will definitely help with the algorithm as well to promote more videos for you guys so you guys can see more of the videos or similar videos as well. But as always, make sure to stay positive, be you, and I'll see you guys in the next episode of Is It Worth It? Peace.